the whole world of NFTs, you know, getting involved in something that's uh, almost completely out of control, <laughs> out of your control, is much more fun than doing something you know how to do. It's a strange kind of new experience. However, it's been kind of what I've been doing forever. Robert Whitman was a pioneer of the happenings in the late 50s and early 60s. Time hadn't been used as a material, as Robert terms it, in art before. Post the happenings, he engaged with technology and he developed an organization with Robert Rauschenberg and Bell Labs called Experiments in Art and Technology in 1967 that really brought tech for the first time to the art world. The backdrop for the launch was the first piece of computer art ever made. New Worlds is Robert's new NFT presented by Pace Verso and Artblocks. It's very much related to Bob's work in terms of cosmology. Each of these minted worlds provides a new landscape, new color palette and a new environment. It very much ties in with an exhibition that we can currently staging at Pace Gallery, a re-staging of a key work from 1960 called American Moon. In 1960, man hadn't stepped on the moon or folks hadn't been on the moon, and it was this kind of other mythic space. And he's returning to that. I probably got involved with the moon's orbiting things from looking at images that had been generated by NASA. First of all, they don't exist. What you're looking at is something a billion or so years ago. I guess that's, what, that's what's fun, <laughs> you know, is to see something that doesn't exist. You kind of blissfully progress thinking you're in a new situation when in fact, you're following the path that you've already been on for all these years. But it's a fantasy or it's a wonderful idea to think that you're, you know, you're, you're in a new place. It helps to stay alive. Robert, as with a number of artists that are based in New York, that engage lots of different forms over many, many years and many decades. And so every time he's moved on, each step of his practice has looked to new technology. It's not something to be feared, it's something to be embraced and something that preternaturally engages the new. And I think that's why it's so key that Robert's here, literally producing new worlds, literally engaging this new kind of technology because he and um, those other pioneers in New York in the late 50s and 60s were the ones that said, maybe we can do this. Meyer Shapiro said, there's something awful about a work of art. And that's what you want. You want to be awestruck. I want, to, I want somebody to show me something that I haven't seen. It should have a, some sort of a solution to your life, uh, even if only for a second or two.